Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed, and in this video, I want to show you how to add the reset password option to the EAC so you can reset a user's password from here versus going to Active Directory. However, um, we need to fix an error which occurs on Exchange and has happened in multiple labs. So I just wanted to quickly first highlight if you don't have the ability to reset password option in EAC, you'll see that when you open up uh, the Exchange Admin Center, you go to recipients, to a mailbox, and you're under the general page, you'll see that there's no option to reset, even if you expand more options. Now, to add that ability, we need to head over to permissions and uh, for this demonstration, I want to add it to the organization management uh, role group because it's got all the permissions set. However, if you want to limit it to recipient management or create a new role group, you can do so. So to add it, we click the pencil button here to modify the actual role group and then click the plus button under roles. And if we scroll all the way down to reset password and press the add button, um, and then click OK. It looks like it's added, but the moment you click Save, you'll see that it's not actually working. It gives you, uh, you don't have access to create, change, or remove um, error, which is a common problem that I've seen across all my labs. So we need to fix that. So to do that, we can first open up a elevated uh, PowerShell window and we need to run four commands. Uh, the first one being the peer snap in for Microsoft. Uh, snap in Microsoft with the asterisk. Sorry, forgot a, a letter here. The next is to do the canned RBAC roles. So install dash canned RBAC uh, roles, press enter. And then wait for that to finish. It takes a couple of seconds. And then once that's done, we need to do the role assignments. So we install the canned RBAC role assignments, push enter. And then lastly, do an IS reset because um, stuff has changed. And obviously, you need to kill any sessions that you have open, the, including the Exchange Admin Center. And it takes a couple of seconds to stop. Sometimes it will give you an error saying you don't have permissions, which I suspect uh, is going to happen. We just rerun it again. And it should stop and start successfully. So now if we head back into the Exchange Admin Center, because we've done a reset, we should be able to add the role back to the role group or not back should say just add it to the role group just give it a second to launch there we go just need to log in so this fix while we're waiting for that to log in this actually went back to exchange 2010 uh, when they first started having this issue and I've tested it on 2013, 2016, and 2019, and it's still working well. You can see that it's working. So let's go back to organization management, click the pencil button, go back to roles, and then let's go down to reset password, and it should let me save it this time. Fantastic. So if I scroll down now, you see nothing has changed from a permission perspective and under organization management now you can see the reset password option is visible if i go back to a mailbox that i had open earlier 
Uh, let's just see if it's going to allow me to reset. Okay, so unfortunately, um, Active Directory replication is not so quick, uh, even though this is a lab. So we just have to wait a couple of seconds and let's see if it will become visible for me. Um, let's no options yet. Okay, nothing showing yet. So what it's supposed to do is there's supposed to be a reset option here underneath. So where these two boxes are still here, but then above this, it gives you the reset option. We can uh, force a replication, but unfortunately, this is a single DC, so we'll just have to wait for it. But the option will appear here as soon as um, it has replicated through. Any change you make to permissions do take a while, and also depending on the size of the environment, it can take a little bit longer. So generally, in an environment that had 400 servers, I had to wait a whole day because the client didn't want to force AD replication. So we just had to wait it out. And then the following day when we logged in, that option was visible here and we could then let the help desk guys reset passes from here versus going into Active Directory. So it's a, it's a two-step video, uh, fixing the error, first of all, to being able to add the reset password option. And then secondly, once you have reset it with the four PowerShell commands, which I will add into the video's uh, description, then once it's run and you've done an IS reset, it's just a question of time, a question of waiting. And once you've waited and uh, AD replication has taken place, then you should be able to reset the password from the EAC going forward. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to sharing more with you and I'll see you in the next video.